They're they're talking so much shit over here. They're feisty. They're they are undoubtedly probably going to win this game. Undoubtedly probably I said at the same time, but that's okay. Um, so no no, I'm I'm all for you. Look how sassy they are right now. All right, as we're gonna kick it off, we're gonna be playing Infinity Slayer again. It will be on Longbow. You guys are familiar with this. This time we got the ladies going against the boys. Pretty much all community driven up here. I will say one of the ladies does do some work with Rooster Teeth up here, Faith. And already they're, they're just out of the spawn and they're already talking shit as it looks like we've got a sniper in someone's hands. And finally we can hear and see a little bit of sniping because that's what I'm all about. Pick up some headshots. You gotta get out in there. And they've got the Warthog over there for the boys as they just come in there, tearing ass, trying to take everyone out here. Ooh, and off to an early start there as the boys pick up a 20 to zero lead. As we're gonna, let's jump on board with Faith here. She's trying to make a move for the rocket launcher. And she's gonna, ooh, yes. <laughs> Somebody just jacked it from her team right in front of her. We'll stick on board with her. She's gonna try to get some shots off there, has to bail away. Throws a grenade to the right side, and nice play there as she does get the assist. Brooke coming up there to help her as well. And good play here by the ladies as they're getting together, only down by two, as off to a slow start, but they picked it up. As I can't even say your name. I can't even do it. Yeah, I refuse to do it. Yeah. She's got an interesting name up here. I wouldn't say it's appropriate for everyone. As now Faith's gonna go ahead and pick up the needler here. She's gonna make some moves in and see if she can pick anybody up. As these guys, the ladies are separated out here, but they do see some of the boys in front of them by the Spartan laser. And Faith taking too many shots has to bail out of there and sync up with her teammates. And she's gonna let her shield recharge. And it looks like someone's gonna try to chase it down here. Shields are gone. She's gonna retreat as well. Gets taken out. The boys doing a very good job working together on that team shot as Faith gets taken out against the team shot as well. And now it is 100 to 50 in favor of the boys. And they've got to step it up here. The ladies do start working together as a team. They're a little bit quiet now. They were real feisty to start this game off. And now they're quiet. It's a 2v1 situation over here. Trying to get some shots off. Going to get some help as the assault rifle's out. She switches over to the battle rifle here. Uh, Sticky just got thrown. Able to almost pick up that kill as Sudo had his shields all the way down, was one shot away from getting taken out, and she was not able to connect there. Faith in some shots right now. She's gonna try to get in there. She bounces out to let her shield recharge. She's got two on her radar in front of her. They didn't see her right away. She's able to connect one shot, not able to follow up there with the pressure situation here. Wh whips out the pistol, get him! Get oh no! And able to clean it up? No, not yet. And this is, this is, oh, finally someone from the team able to make it a 2v1 situation to take out Faith. As Brooke sitting 15 feet away from the monitor, hopefully this can help her out. She's trying to get some shots off and she's standing up and she's so frustrated. And no, look at you, you can't even connect. We need you to, we need you right now. Look at, oh, she's, look at this, standing up, playing sassy. Finally, we got Faith in the Ghost. She's gonna see if she can do something here with this, get some splatter kills. She's moving out, see somebody gonna turn around, try to pick that up, and the Warthog's being manned. So she's coming up, doing some damage here, and can actually pick up some serious kills, as she's definitely got hit on everybody. Gonna clear, ooh, he got a sticky, but still alive there. The Plasma was able to take her out, picks up a kill there. So nice shooting here by Faith, as she was able to connect. Don't drive that thing into the ocean, please. Nice. So the girls got a little bit of a second life here as now they're starting to work together as a team. Let's go jump over by the boys and see how they're doing here. We got Jay from the production crew here. He, in fairness, he works on the Halo 4 team, so he's got a little bit better skill set. As he's trying to get some shots off, picks up a nice kill there and almost got the double kill, got the assist on the second kill. So Jay doing some work here with that BR, picks up another kill and they're just running through the ladies right now. Just working, he's got the shields up here, nice. And now drops him, trying to get somebody else. And these guys are working really well as a team. About to make a move in here as he splits the rock. Knows they're back here and hiding. And now he's making an aggressive push where they just spawned in. Picks up one with a headshot, moving in there. Nice little thing with the shield. Throws out a sticky there. And now he's really making some moves. If he can try to make up another kill, they're starting to converge on this location as Bravo Long, long time MLG pro player coach here is helping out his team with a little strategy. And he just said, Bravo has not died yet. Not once. 
So the, the guys are uh, they're doing pretty well over here. It is 340 to 110. So the girl's losing a little bit of momentum here. I sort of is able to pick up a nice kill. Calls him the Prometheus Vision as he looks around the map, and he's gonna make a move for the Rockets. Gonna pick those up, but taking some shots as he does it here, and it looks like, ooh, just got taken out there, man. And and Bravo, I think we gotta stay on with Bravo right here since he hasn't died yet. So I mean, he, he's let's see if he can go, just like a nice little flawless and not not get taken out at all. Can you do that? All right, all right. Somebody's gotta cheer, Bravo. You got no one cheering for you right now. Someone cheer for Bravo since he hasn't died yet. Just one. There we go. One. One. Thank you. Thank you. You've got one person supporting you here at least. And now, now it's just a cluster. You know what? Over here by the Warthog. Trying to get some shots in. Gets the reload and almost takes him out here. The ladies trying to bounce back into this game as the boys are just decimating them right now. It looks like uh, Sudith is going to have an ordinance here. He's going to have to decide which one he wants to call in. And he's just rocking the Prometheus Vision, looking around, throws a frag to the ground that does nothing for him. And now they're just trying to find the ladies after they pinned them in the spawn. Went really well for him. They moved out, and now they got to find out where they're at here as we're back on with Jay. Jay's got the shields up, trying to get out of that fire. See somebody in front of him, going to help him out. Gets taken out there. Nice shooting by the ladies as they're able to climb back into this. And there you have it. The time, time isn't dwindling down, but certainly the amount of kills that they need to get in order to end this game certainly is, as they only need, I think, five more to close this one out. Five minutes and 40 seconds left on the clock. We've got Jay trying to get some shots down range here at somebody as he's looking around, getting some shots taken at him now. And now they've got all three guys that are bunkered up in here. Digging it together, Jay getting it. Ooh, Jay, you gotta get that one, my man. You gotta close that out. And Bravo with those MLG callouts over here. And, and all honesty, it's really helping their team. I mean, they're working together as one unit here. Something that the ladies have not been able to do well from the start of this game. These guys are on top of it. I don't even know how they have callouts. This is the second time I've ever even seen this map. So, but they do. They've got the T1 callouts. As now, they're only a couple kills away. The girls are playing a little bit slower here. Four minutes and 58 seconds left on the clock. They're just looking around. You guys need to make some moves here. You got a nice commanding lead. Go be aggressive and find them. Bravo still hasn't died yet over here. As now, he's th th they're four deep looking for him. Now we got a call out over here. As it looks like they finally were found and they are bunkered up over here. So the boys are about to make a press in here to try to clean them up. And Bravo calling them out here. Shots being exchanged. And they're playing it smart here. Don't want to go in too aggressively and push this. Want to make sure they orchestrate this. Bravo trying to get some shots down range here. And let's see if they're able to pull something off here to close it out as they are playing a little bit conservative even though they have a commanding lead. They're waiting for the right time to make a move here and strike. And Bravo continuing to call him out. He's going to use the vision, lights him up across the map. Now they see him. There's one headshot by Bravo. Now they're going to start making an aggressive push into the building to take him out here. As Bravo's moving in, he sees another one. They're going to get the team shot on. Move behind the rocks, and he runs out of ammo. Again, he has not died yet, so he's got to switch out. Uh, he's got to do something. Yeah, he's got to find something, man. He's got no ammo in his guns. Uh, he might just have to go in there and good old-fashioned Texas beatdown. Uh, might be the way you want to clean this one up. So the girls, though, they, they're not ready to give up yet. They're staying back here. Sudut is starting to move in from the flank, takes out one, pulls out the pistol there. Nice shooting by him, and now he's probably going to get taken out in a 2v1, was able to get some shots off before that happens. Now Bravo, he's calling in for the rush to try to just put an end to this game, put a nail in the coffin, and he sees them. They're three together. Sticky almost picks up one. He's trying to get a needle across the map, and there you have it. The boys close it out. It was a great game by the girls. They had a lot of passion, but you got to give it up to the guys that played a great game.